Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this one, I am going to share a resource with you that is going to give you a few ideas as to what you should do in terms of structuring your CMake project. And I am going to introduce you to this Pitchfork layout project. It is a thing developed by Vector of Bull and you can search for this. So let's do that in our search engine here, uh, Pitchfork project layout. If we do this, we will get a link probably. And um, let's see if we can find it. And uh, we can get the link here. So where is it? The project layout foundation. I think it is this link here. So I am going to put this link in the description. If you want, you can follow it, but it is right here. And uh, this is just a convention for laying out source, build, and resource files in a file system to aid in uniformity, tooling, and understandability, and compartment. I can't pronounce this. But you get the idea. This is just a reference to help you do things in a reasonable way when your CMake project starts to grow. So take a moment to read through this. This is just a convention or a suggestion. You don't have to follow this to the line, but it is really good. I use this for many of my projects as a starting point, but I did not necessarily follow this in this CMake series because the main goal is to make things simple and get you building stuff, even if that means that I am not following the best practices I would follow in a real project. But make no mistake, the project templates I gave you in the last video are going to get you very far because they have a good foundation. But don't feel like you have to do things exactly the way I do them. Please experiment, find something that works for you. This is just a reference to give you a few ideas on things to be careful about. So I am going to stop here in this video and I will see you next time.